what I found in a lot of the work that I was doing in democracy building, but particularly looking locally, was folks just didn't have basic information or they didn't trust where the information was coming from. And, and that matters when you start to talk about um, when to vote, how to vote, who you're voting for, right? And feeling empowered enough to engage. And voter apathy is a term that has been out there, but we really got to the point where it's not about folks being apathetic. This really is a matter of trust, right? If folks feel like they never see their council people knocking on their doors and coming by and checking on issues, if they feel like when they're calling the city and can't get to the right person and nothing ever happens, it erodes trust in these very basic ways for residents. So what becomes the work to help people connect back to understand, yes, it's frustrating, but this local government system plays a major role in a lot of what happens in your neighborhood and your community. And you have power to impact this because you, you know, you pay taxes, right? You're invested here, right? These people work for you. Like, let's remember the accountability system that works here, right? Because we've gotten away from it. So how do we support a lot of neighbor to neighbor actions and organizing and coalition building within neighborhoods themselves so people feel more accountable um, and feel more empowered to push. We have to be committed to the long game. We have to recognize how political strategy plays into this just as much as it's trying to find organizations to do basic education work. And we have to work with groups in a way that they see themselves as an aligned ecosystem and know how to play to their strengths. And that means getting out of the scarcity mindset of um, only funding groups to do a little bit or swooping in the states because they have a competitive race and then swooping out when it's over. What's the patient capital to do this over the long run? Mm -hmm.